Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I am dedicating this recipe to all the vegetarians out there. We've been cooking meat for enough time and now we can start doing a simple dish just made out of vegetables. That's right. But most important today, it's Sunday. It's a lazy day and I cannot be asked to make something complicated. And if you're at home, you've got a family and you don't have much time, this is the perfect side dish. The French ratatouille, a simple vegetable stew made out of courgette, aubergine, uh, onions, bell pepper, garlic, tomatoes, all cooked together in a pan, slow cooked for 15 minutes and it's ready. It's the perfect combination that you can use with white meats, mainly maybe chicken, veal, pork and also anything like fish, even salmon. So it's a great little side dish to know, easy to make. So let's see how to make the French ratatouille. Right, so for the pantry, very simple. This is all you need for a ratatouille. Tomatoes, bell peppers, take different colors. I took a yellow and a red to vary the color. One onion, I'm not even gonna use everything. Aubergine, courgette, olive oil, one clove of garlic. And for the aromatic herbs, some bay leaves. I'm using one of these satchel of bouquet garni you can find in any supermarket. And I've got a little bit of time from the garden to add some extra flavor. That's it, stock pot and we're all done. Okay, for the vegetables cutting, nothing special. The only thing you need to see is what I call the one on, one off kind of technique. Take your aubergine and we, before we cut it, we're gonna just peel one bit, one stripe, you turn and you do a one on, one off, meaning you get that kind of shape in your uh, courgette, sorry I may have said aubergine, and you see what you get here? That's what I call the one on, one off. And it helps the cooking of the actual vegetable. Now you can do the same with an aubergine, uh, take a, a peeler, uh, and you just try to, it's a bit more difficult, but basically you try to go, you leave a stripe and you're gonna kind of dig in it's a bit hard, it's a bit tough. And you go through and you do that kind of a rough cut of one on, one off. And we're gonna then slice it like that. All right, so as you can see here, I've already cut in little uh, kind of cubes or little parcel, one centimeter of, of thickness and everything has to be in kind of squares. So try to do something not too small because that's gonna cook for a long time. So you can see the courgette here. Basically, again, what I'm gonna do is just try to slice and try to measure with your finger on having this kind of one centimeter blocks when you cut your courgette. Okay, so this is what you get. You see that kind of trying to show you? There. It's a bit of decoration and looks, it looks fun in your pan. And now for the cooking, very simple. You start with a high heat. You put all of your olive oil in there. Very simple. Immediately, you're gonna start by putting your onions, your garlic, and your peppers. It's really, really easy. Okay, now I'm starting with those because first of all, they give you some color and they are the ones that are really tough to cook. So before the courgette, I infuse my oil with those, so just a few minutes to give a bit of taste to, to your oil. Now, when you start to smell this nice kind of, uh, the bell peppers, the, you know, it starts to smell nice, it's time to put the rest of your veggies, mainly your courgette and your aubergine. You then, Give it a stir, so be gentle. You try to put everything in. So you mix the colors, basically. Think, think colors, you know? It has to be nice, it has to look nice. So you got a nice combination of everything. 
see some green some red some yellow looks nice okay when you're here you can add tomatoes yeah. then maybe over here start to put your bay leaves maybe a little bit of thyme yeah, make it nice boom and like I have my bouquet garni that I'm gonna place under All right and you finish with grind of black pepper perfect look how lovely that is bit of salt and eventually if you want you can add some full peppercorns and you're done when this is like this you put your heat on low you're gonna take a lid and you're gonna keep this cover on for 15 minutes at low heat 15 minutes have passed i've hardly touched my ratatouille and let's have a look i've just turned my heat off and this is what we get the first thing you're gonna do here is to discard thyme leaf and if you can find it <laughs> you're bouquet garni and as everything we do in french cooking we're gonna finish this off if you want you can keep it like this but mainly a ratatouille has a dominance in tomato so unless you got extremely good quality tomato as you can see i don't know if you can see at the bottom but this is not tomato juice at the bottom so what i'm doing I'm gonna basically finish the sauce off. I've got here a tomato sauce, it's an Italian homemade passata. Okay. And I'm gonna just steer that through gently because it's extremely fragile, just to give that extra tomatoy mixture and Italian taste. When I say Italian, actually, this is from the south of France. This recipe originates from Nice, which is from the French Riviera. But I'm going to show you two serving suggestions uh, for you at home. So the serving suggestion number one, this is the home version. So really the non-pretentious, served as a side, you put it on the table, little bit of basil, it's plain, it's simple, it goes very well with fish and white meats. And now for the gourmet version of the ratatouille. What can we do for the gourmet? Or if you are a vegetarian, and I'm gonna show you a little recipe, a menu for one, a little a lunch for one. So I'm gonna use that terracotta dish over here, maybe put a little bit of the juices from the actual cooking juice. So it's nice and juicy. All right. Maybe with that, we're gonna add some fennel and cumin seeds which is always nice, not too, not too many. And of course, when you think about juice, you think maybe about, let's say, some uh, French bread. I've toasted some bread in olive oil. That's gonna go perfectly with all this. And of course, to finish, we can use our little piece of basil. And this is how I would serve a little menu for one for a vegetarian. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, guys, that completes uh, the video of the day. It's a simple recipe. I hope you enjoy it. And like always, if you like the videos, if you like the channel, please comment, subscribe. You're all welcome. We had plenty of new subscribers, actually 1000 subscribers last week, which has been amazing. So yeah, keep coming back and we're gonna make some more great recipe. Have a good day, have a good evening whenever you watch this and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.